Hey, it's Nick and welcome to I Can't Believe It's Not News 2.0. The reboot. We brought it back. <laughs> we brought it back. Uh, it's where we take uh, headlines and, and kind of joke around with them, have some fun, and give them your voice. And after huge ratings and success from the Mayweather McGregor fight, you might ask, what dream fight will we get to see next? You might not have to wait much longer. Former boxer George Foreman has challenged Steven Seagal to a fight on pay per view. Has anyone seen these so called athletes lately? Let's just say they're larger than life. Did Seagal question George Foreman's grill? I I'm just not sure why Foreman feels he needs to literally knock out the fact. <laughs> there, there may be a bit of a weight difference, but either side said they're willing to catch up if they need to. This fight could be the promoter's dream. Hell, maybe I'd even invest. They could call it Bite Night or Thrilla with Vanilla Extract or uh, how about Rumble in the Tummy? <laughs> the fight would happen unorthodox, beginning to it, of course, they would have to cue the fight with a loud buzzer to initiate the match, as uh, the traditional bell would only confuse them into thinking their dinner was ready. <laughs> On social media, we asked if you guys would watch the fight. Christina wrote, whoever doesn't pay for this senior citizen Kane Rumble is a winner in my book. I agree with you, Christy. Finally, a West Point grad is getting a lot of media attention for promoting communist beliefs under his uniform during a commencement ceremony. Communism is on the rise because it seems to be the cool thing to do nowadays. Second Lieutenant Spencer Rapone wore a red Che Guevara shirt under his uniform and wrote the words, communism will win under his officer's cap. I'm not sure what the fascination is with communism, but the amount of people who hold socialist beliefs in this country is a bit alarming to me. When did wanting to work hard become the fringe? With the lazy generation of today, you can't possibly believe that communism could work. The system will fail simply because, after all, in communism, you only get out of it what you Putin. <laughs> Most of us can't even get out of bed after 10 a.m. I'm part of that, uh, that group. The teleprompter is telling me to insert a Yakov Smirnoff joke, but honestly, I can't think of one because uh, I don't associate communism with free ideas, humor, or creativity. There's not enough time in the day to make fun of every liberal college student who wears a Chaco era shirt, but it's the message in the hat that seems the most absurd. I think the lieutenant needs to uh, do a little more research and check the scoreboard if he thinks communism is going to win. I, I, honestly, at the very least, has he seen Red Dawn, Rocky IV, or any of the Rambo movies? I didn't think it'd be brave stance to say I'm all for capitalism in 2017, but call me old fashioned, I'm more for get rich or die trying than get rich and die. People who want socialist reform in the United States claim it's never been done right. And if the 60 million that were put to death under Lenin and Stalin's rule were alive today, they'd probably say, never been done right? How about never again? All right, that's all I got for you. That's the headlines from, from me anyway. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe because I need a job.